Here's one that always gets me, and that is to be or not to be. That is the question. Actually, it's not to be. It is for sale by owner or not for sale by owner? Would you like to be your own doctor during an important surgery? I don't think I would be, okay? You could read up on it. You could study it. You could be book smart. But application does vary because there are variables that change on a constant basis. It's an emotional process to sell your home, okay? Some people can do it successfully. Can non-licensed people do as good a job as I can as a full-time professional? I don't think so. I think they could do a very good job, but I don't think they'll ever be able to do as good a job as I can, simply because I'm not emotionally connected to the process. So, what does that mean? I am not going to react like they may, whether you're a buyer and or a seller, this applies in both. I'm not going to react the same way that uh, the homeowner or the home buyer would if they were representing themselves. And that could be a very awkward situation. Oftentimes, sellers want to play up features and factors about a house that they love, which is little or no interest to a potential buyer. Okay. And how would you know that? You wouldn't because. There was no pre-time. That's why when a realtor takes somebody out and understands that all those uh, special features that are highlighted, they're going to downplay those because they know that you really don't like them, but they're going to play up the factors that they know their buyer's really going to like, some that you may, as a home seller, never cared about in the first place. Maybe it's the neighbors. Maybe the loud, boisterous neighbors that are next door you hate or you really don't like, and you've been living with them for long, and you're really relieved to be moving, okay? Now, if you say, oh, my gosh, I got some boisterous neighbors, well, number one, you're being honest and truthful, but number two, um, you know, they may be turned off by loud, boisterous neighbors, or you may find out that that's their relatives, and you just uh, upset them because you kind of said some bad things about their friends or their family members. So you never know, okay? A realtor walks a little bit softly, carefully, and presents the features and factors that they know that their buyers are looking for. Something that you, the seller, do not have advance notice of and will never have. So when a problem comes up and takes place, you know, re representing yourself trying to resolve the matter may be difficult because they know that you have a greater interest financially than a realtor would have because the realtor is going to say, hey, listen, if you don't buy this house, we'll find you another one. But before you walk away from this house, let's consider some of the options that we can do to address this issue and maybe work them out. That is the benefit of a realtor. And that's one of the reasons why for sale by owner isn't a very good idea for everybody.